Hello, my name is Kevin Snyder here for Tuts Plus and today we're going to take a look at warp cuts. Whenever we're looking at interview footage and we're trying to make the person that we interviewed sound as good as possible, we try and take out those little pauses where they say uh, you know, any kind of weird pops, but the trick is sometimes removing larger chunks of audio leaves a gap in the video footage, right? So we get the jump cut. How do we smooth that out so that it looks natural, but we can still use the footage without having to overlay B-roll footage over the top of it? Today we're going to take a look at a technique using After Effects to smooth out those jump cuts. Let's start off by looking at a little video clip here showing what we're going to learn in this tutorial today. Butterflies are beautiful. Uh, I really like them. Butterflies are beautiful. I really like rain. Butterflies are beautiful. I really like rain. Okay, so as we can see in this piece of footage, we're trying to take out that uh in there. And the jump cut obviously is, uh, well, it's just that. It's a jump cut, Butterfly right? We can visually beautiful. see it. I really like rain. And then in the warp cut here, we're going to use After Effects. Butterflies are beautiful. I really like it. To smooth that out, we're going to create intermediate frames to help fill that gap. So this tutorial is nice and sweet and short, so let's jump right in and check it out. For this project, we're going to start in Premiere Pro, and we're going to use Dynamic Link to move our files into After Effects. Okay, so let's take a look at the file that we have here. And if I play it back... Butterflies are beautiful. Uh, I really like rain. Alright, so very common problem when we're trying to cut audio to make you know, interviews sound as perfect as possible. People kind of stall a little bit in there and we want to go ahead and remove those. So uh, obviously uh, I... that uh, is what we want to remove. So let's go in there and see exactly where that is. Uh, uh... So it starts right about here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit C on the keyboard and place a cut right there. Uh, I really like now this is a little tricky on the tail end uh, I really like because she kind of rolls her uh into an I. So we're going to cut it the best, we, the best that we can. I really like that. Okay, that sounds actually good right there. So let's go ahead and cut that. Hit V on the keyboard, and this chunk right here, we should be able to just delete. I'm going to right click and do ripple edit. And let's see what we have here. Beautiful. I really like rain. Okay, so that doesn't Beautiful. sound. I really like rain. So that sounds okay. And obviously, we can Beautiful. see that really like if we watch the video, we have a jump. And, you know, for most projects, that's not going to be good enough for for viewing, you know, sometimes we'll overlay footage, some B-roll on top of that so that we don't see that jump. But let's say that we don't have B-roll or we wanna, you know, there's a lot of mistakes in the interview. We want to just have one continuous play. So let's see how we fix this. I really like that. All right, so let's move in here and we want one frame on each side of this cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually lock my audio and I'm going to press C on the keyboard and I'm going to make a cut one frame before and then if we come one frame after we're going to make another cut okay so basically we want some intermediate frames that will help connect these two frames right so we got this jump going on here and we want to be able to smooth that out so I'm going to drag and highlight the two frames that we have I'm going to right click and you're not going to be able to see this. Let me move some things around. Let's move my capture window down. And if I right click on these two files, I'm going to choose replace with After Effects composition. And let me move my capture window back up. And we have After Effects here. It's going to ask for a name for this. So, and you can see I've already done this before. Let's just call this warp. Let 
Okay, so in After Effects now we have our two movie files, but they're just one frame each. So we have our first frame and then our second frame. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and with them both selected, we're going to do Control Shift C because we want to move these into a new composition. And I'll just leave it as pre comp, that is fine. Okay. So this is only two frames long, but we're gonna want it a little bit longer. So I'm gonna press Control K. And I'm gonna just, for right now, just make this 10, 10 frames long. All right. Now we need this comp to extend for the length of 10 seconds. Okay, and the way we're gonna do that, we're gonna do Control Alt T to enable time remapping. Now we're not going to actually change any of our keyframes here. All we're going to do though is extend this clip so that it's 10 seconds long. And so we have our first frame and then we have our second frame, but then it's just black, right? Because there's nothing else there. And the reason why we're doing that is because we're going to use time warp to, to uh, pull this off. And time warp will not actually extend the length of our clip. We need our clip to be um, the length that we want. So let's come in here and look for time warp and maybe it is not called time warp. What is that called? Time. Oh, it is time warp, but there's no space in there. Okay. So we're going to apply time warp to our pre comp here. And when we do that, we have the speed on 50 by default. So if I scrub through here, we see that we're actually going past that last keyframe. It kind of falls apart a little bit and we're not really getting extra frames. So we want to take the speed down to at least 20. Okay. Now you could decrease it even more if you would like, but I found that 20, a speed of 20 uh, seems to work out pretty well. Now if I scrub through here, you can see we have additional frames and then it falls apart. Okay, and let me actually zoom in here. So as I scrub through here, we want as many additional frames as possible. And it looks like right there at a, after five, right, uh, it completely falls apart. Now if we decrease this a little more, let's go down to 15 maybe we get even more frames that are usable okay in here so it's so depending on how many frames you need to bridge the gap between those two frames right because we're really we're inventing frames here we have this frame and this frame and after effects is interpolating frames to blend in between these two okay so the more frames you need the lower you want this value to be Okay, um, so it's going to obviously depend a little bit on the clip that you have and what you can get away with. So let's leave it at, at a speed of 15 actually. All right, but right here, it falls apart. So I'm actually going to um, press N on the keyboard to end my work area. Okay, and then I'm going to right click and do trim comp to work area. So now, we just have the actual usable frames here. Okay, and we can make some adjustments up here. Maybe the vector uh, detail. Maybe we want to move that up a little bit. And this is a little bit of a render hit on here, but it's not too bad. So I'm looking right here, right around her head. Okay, sometimes you get some warping going on, but it actually looks pretty good. Uh, smoothing iterations, we could also increase that a little bit if we wanted to. Let's see if that makes any kind of difference here. Okay, so you really want to watch the detail around your moving objects. Make sure you're not getting any kind of weird distortions going on. Okay, and I think for this clip, that actually looks pretty good. OK, 
Okay. So obviously, um, you can go through here and tweak a lot of these tuning um, parameters. It depends on on the clips. Obviously, some of them are gonna some clips are gonna need more tweaking than others. But this looks pretty good. Let's do a little RAM preview. Okay, so that's pretty amazing really um, that we're getting that kind of motion from just two two frames all right so I'm gonna go ahead and save this and let's jump back over to Premiere and now with our warp cut so I'm gonna unlock this and with this warp cut here we need to scoot um, our second part of the cut over and we want to extend this out Let's see, we wanted to get this whole comp in here. Okay, and then we will scoot this back. So I'm going to go ahead and mute the audio for right now. And let's make this a little bit bigger. And let's see what we have here as far as this cut. Okay, that looks really good. Okay, so with just a little bit of work, um, we were able to bridge that gap from the cut. Let's watch it one more time. Okay, that's pretty amazing. I don't think if anybody knew that this was cut that they would realize. Now, obviously, if I turn the audio back on. Butterflies are beautiful. I really like them. So that break in the, in the uh, ambient noise kind of uh, kind of gives it away so let's do this let's go ahead and open this actually let's open gotta click on the right thing let's open our original footage and I'm gonna go into the audio part here and I'm gonna pull out we want just a little bit of audio Butter to help bridge this let's see if just putting this down here is gonna work I really like rain butterflies are beautiful I really like rain okay and it looks like yeah I accidentally turned down the second half of the clip so let's try this again butterflies are beautiful I really like rain All right, let's see that back one more time here. Butterflies are beautiful. I really like rain. All right, there we go. Pretty short and simple, okay? But can be a really powerful tool when going in there and cleaning up um, those interviews. Okay, so you should be able to take out those stutters. Obviously, if there's a huge amount of motion between the two frames, um, you're not going to be able to to fix it, but it does come in handy quite a bit and it's surprising uh, Just how much you can get away with using this technique. So good luck and As always if you create something that you know this technique really saves the day with an interview shoot me a link I would love to see it. Thanks for watching